Hi everybody. I'm here a few minutes early. Gotta get a few things set up. Okay. Let me get my let me find everybody on my my tablet now. Turn my volume down on this. Okay. YouTube. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's popped in yet or not, but hmm. Hmm. okay, it's logging me in. Maybe I should have done this just a few minutes earlier. <laughs> hmm. I'm here now. I just got to go up here to my my channel and see if you guys are in there because I can't see anybody. Okay. It says it's live. Okay. All right. I guess I'm here. Mm. Okay, let's see if I could see the chat. The chat's down here. No one's watching. So I'm going to, everybody, it's like just 201. So I'm just going to say hello and welcome. Let me, okay, I see somebody's in here, but I'm not sure who. You could say, or maybe it's just me. I don't know, I had two people in here a minute ago. Let me see if I could tag people or share. I don't know. This is all new. Hmm. I'll give a few minutes for people to join. I'm not really sure what's... Um, what's going on. <laughs> I'm not sure to know how to invite unless I... Do something up here. Uh, nope. That's not anything you do. <laughs> well, if you make it, you made it. If you didn't, I'll see you guys on the flip side. I'm not really sure how to... <laughs> Shoo! Blush me. Sorry about that. I don't know if I set something up wrong. <laughs> now I don't know what happened to my video. <laughs> Uh-oh, I lost it. It's going to be a little bit of a learning curve again, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't done one, so this first one is a good one to... Let me figure out what's going on. <laughs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I tag? Oh, I can share my chat. Here we go. Now maybe we'll get some people in here. I'm going to share it on my Facebook feed. <laughs> Mm 
join me. I'm gonna message a few people. Okay. All right. Now I will go back and we will We'll continue the live feed here. All right, I'm not, I'm gonna try to chat along, oh, live chat right there. If you are here or if you're late and you join in, it's only two minutes after, or six minutes after, um, say hello, leave me a comment. Um, I'm just kind of trying to, Go slow here so people know that I'm live. <sighs> this is a card we're going to make. So, this should be pretty fun. I can't. Yeah. I have the hostess code up here um, for this month. If you can see it, um, jot it down. So that way you, uh, if you want to place an order, you can uh, use that hostess code. And you just go to Bonnie's Creative Place .net, And that's where you go. To, and use the hit the shopping with me button and then you could place an order right online and have it shipped right to your home so that's pretty cool well I don't know it just might be me I'm not really sure maybe I'm not doing this completely right but it looks like I am but I'm gonna have uh, this really fun tulip card today so this should be a lot of fun you can order this bundle out of the new mini they're calling it a mini catalog and um these are the this is the stamp set and then they have the punch that goes with it so we're gonna um we're gonna work with this stamp set today and we're gonna make this fun card i've done a few things for us ahead of time just because when I do my lives, I'd like to keep them to a half an hour. That way, if someone's watching on their lunch or break or something, you know, maybe they can. I know two o'clock's past lunch, but never know. So I'm going to set my card right up here out of the way where you guys can still see it. We need some scrap paper to punch out the and tulips and stuff. We need a this is a four and a quarter by 11 and a half. Normally you cut your paper this way and you cut it at five and a half by eight and a half and then we fold it in half. Well, I just decided to have this one open this way so you cut it at four and a quarter and then it's by the length of the paper, which is 11 and a half. So that's our base for our card. And then I have some designer series paper right here and this is uh, gonna go on the card and then I went ahead and did some of the um, some of the little stems and stuff so you guys didn't have to sit and watch me cut out them all <laughs> so we have that right there so here's one of our tulips just gonna kind of get some of our goodies out here that we need. Put this 
this back over here out of the way for a minute. All right, the stamp colors, the colors that I'm going to use for all the leaves and stuff, the colors that I'm using um, is Old Olive. I'm just going to get these out of my way. I'm just going to put Old Olive right there. And I'm taking the stem that's in the set. I'm taking this one that's right here. And I use this leaf because it goes with the punch. So those are the two that I use. Um, I honestly don't know if these go with it because I haven't used them ones in the punch yet. I just went ahead and grabbed that one. So um, I'm just going to stamp this up. And just use scrap paper, stamp it down like that. Then I'm going to take the um, leaf and I'm going to push, put one right here on the end, just like that. I've got my cleaning pad over here. It's very well loved, so, <laughs> but it gets them so clean. This gets it very clean. Okay. Um, are you out there? Like everybody, is my volume up on this? I don't even know. Can you guys, if anybody's out there watching, can you, can you hear it good? Give me thumbs up. Um, leave a comment. <laughs> If you leave a comment, like, or subscribe to my page, I'm going to be sending this card and the other card to two lucky winners. Whether you are um, watching it now or if you watch it later. But you have to leave a comment below and you have to like my page and subscribe to hit the little bell button that's on the YouTube page so that you don't miss any of my future videos when I go live. Because my plan is to go live every Wednesday. So, you know, do that. And then I'm going to cut out, or cut out punch, this leaf. I'm just going to put this in here. Try to get it so you guys can see it. There we go. And I'm just going to punch it right out. Ooh, got some stuff that flies everywhere. And so now we have our leaves and our stems. So now it's time to do our flowers. So I took the tool up. And I got some scrap paper over here. And I'm going to use the Bermuda Bay first. And I'm going to stamp one here and one right next to it. That's all I need of that. I need the cleaner again. I'm going to clean the stamp in between. Okay. And then I'm going to use Crystal Coral. And I chose these colors from the little pack that I got free from Celebration that I'll show you in a little bit when we get going. Oops. I'm just going to say hello. Can you hear me? Hmm. Somebody else is watching. 
but they're not leaving a comment or anything, so I don't know if I'm just talking to myself because no one can hear me. <laughs> I don't know if I have the volume wrong or... Okay. All right, and I'm going to... Done with the Crystal Coral, and I got out to the Daffodil Delight. And now I'm going to stamp this up. Let's see, right here. I don't think I can get another one. Maybe if I do it upside down. Ooh, look at that. I can. I got another one right on that page. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to. Mm. <sighs> I heard a ding. So, okay. They're saying my sound is good. All right. Thank you, Sherry. <laughs> Can you leave a comment underneath the video or not? Because I don't see anybody leaving comments there, so I wasn't sure. <laughs> okay. If you leave a comment underneath my video, underneath this video, now or later... You'll get put in for one of these two cards. Okay. So now we're just going to punch this out. And this is the fun part because you make a big mess with all the, with all the extra little pieces. <laughs> okay. Okay, Sherry, there. Now I see somebody. At least I'm not here all by myself. I'm trying to line this up pretty accurate without putting my head in the video. For some reason, the angle of this one just does not want it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. <laughs> And this, you could see, this doesn't take really long to punch out. Maybe. Okay. So I fussy cutted all my little stems. I punched out my leaves and I punched out my flowers. So now we're going to get building the card. I forgot my silicone mat, but it's right here. So now we're going to build the card. And this is the card we're making if you guys uh, forgot or didn't see it when I first posted it. Now, I'm not really worried about the way any of these goes. First of all, you're not going to see them after I cover them up there. And down here, you just kind of want to know that you have six stems. So... <laughs> Doesn't really matter how you lay these down. I like to use liquid glue for this. And I try to just do a dab. Sometimes I like to just put a dab right there. And then I'll show you with the next one because I already put a dab here. But then I would just take this and I would just tap it. So that way I don't have a big glob like I do right now. And oops, can you guys see what I'm doing? I guess I gotta get it in the camera more. I'm sorry. I just moved it up. I'll show that again. Rather than putting a big dab right there, just put a little dab off to the side, kind of stamp it in the center, and then just put your things on here. It doesn't really matter if they overlap or anything. You're not going to really see them with the way the card lays out. So, I don't usually worry about it. Just as long as you have about six of them here going on. You have some a little higher, a little shorter. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm going to let that sit to the side for a minute while we start putting our base of our card together a little bit. So, like I said, I took a piece of the gingham paper and grab my tape writer. And I'm just going to adhere this. It's about a half an inch, three quarters. If you want, I can use, I use my grid paper. And I went up three blocks on either side. This is an inch and a half by four and a quarter piece of gingham paper there. And then I went ahead and I put this down. And there's enough little glue on there that I don't really have to mess with it. And I went down a little farther than normal because I'll just trim them. That doesn't matter. And then I just push that right there in the middle. And then you just decide which ones you want flat and which ones you want popped up. So I think I'm going to bring a blue one forward this time from the other card that I did. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one flat and I'm going to put this one flat in the back like that if I can get the stems I do try to do a little bit of putting them on the right ones but I guess it doesn't really matter so I think that looks kind of cute so far so I'm going to put those two flat well I guess I should put adhesive on this one first Okay. And I'm raising these up a little bit because I want it to almost go right to the top. So even if there was a gap there, that would be okay because no one's gonna no one's gonna see all these flower stems underneath there, but you know, but us. So all right, and then I'm gonna take a leaf. Because I forgot to do this on my first one and I had to tuck them in. So I'm going to try and do it better this time. There we go. Put a leaf there. And then I think I'm going to put a yellow one over here. I like that. You could use liquid glue here too. It's all up to you. And what kind of glue you want to use or whatever and then I think I'll tuck I probably should have tucked that one in before I glued it down see going live you guys get to see everything I do wrong <laughs> so I peeled it up and I think I'm gonna add a add it to the back side of this a little bit like this with the adhesive that I already have on the back to catch it and then I'll put it down so it kind of goes like that okay and the rest of these I'm gonna have these ones pop up so I don't know which one I want in the middle what do you guys think should I have the blue in the middle popped up in the middle like that I think that looks pretty okay So I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of these. Okay, Sherry. I know you like the, the balming blue, or not balming blue. Yeah, no. Bahama blue. So I know you want that in the center, right? <sighs> so that's what we're going to put in the center. <laughs> so we're going to put that in the center. And then I got a leaf here that I punched out. And I'm just going to put it around like this. What I did was I just took a, a mini dimensional. And I put it on 
just want to make sure I yeah I put it on the far side maybe okay I put it on the I'll get you back in the camera here I put it on the far side of the of the leaf so you guys could see it sorry I was out of camera for a minute guys and then I put it down there so it's over here and it's not on the I might even add another one with the yeah with the glue peeling these little thingies off oops I gotta put this one down first that's the blue one okay I'm gonna put this one I want you to be able to see yeah, I'm gonna spread this one out a little bit more so it looks like that then I'm gonna grab another leaf and this one I'm just going to put down and put the little mini way up here on top so that way the rest will be on top of the tulip Looks like that. And then I'll put this one right in the center here. And then I got my other green one. And I'm just going to glue that one. Well, use some snail. And put that one right there. Don't it look good? It's gaining. I think I have them off centered a little bit, but you know what? I got a bunch of these little sparkly things here, and I'm just going to give these a little trim and then spread them kind of back out a little bit. Okay. And then you need another little piece of scrap. And I ended up using the. the blue the bonding blue and I stamped the word hello oh I just touched myself with gotta get some hand stabilizer if you guys don't know this trick you put a little hand stabilizer on your when you get ink on you it won't get rid of the ink, but it removes it from spreading. So that way I'm not getting it on my white card. Okay. And I took this punch and I punched it out like this. And then I put it back in. This is kind of tricky, but if you put it in between... It's really tricky. I don't know why I decided to show this part because, you know. Oh, there it goes. Okay, let me get my arm out of the way. If you put it in, now we'll see how we're going to have the same shape. If I put it in underneath, I would have gotten that crazy shape there. And I didn't want that. So, I did that. And then I took a glue dot, which I did not leave over here. Got a glue dot. Took a glue dot and I put it right here. And I put this off from it. Just like that. I don't know why I have so much of this on there. Then um, 
the next thing I did was I took these ribbons. Now, if you order $50 or more, so if you decide to order the the bundle, the punch, and the tulip uh, tulip stamp set, if you decide to order that, um, I believe you're pretty close to the $50. And then you could get this stuff for free. And, I mean, this twine doesn't do justice probably on camera but um it's got like this pretty gold that goes through it I don't know if it's picking it up but I'm just making two bunny ears flipping them around put them inside and pull them well I lost it let's do it again two bunny ears <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's because I'm on camera. I can't do anything right. Must be feeling nervous. There they are. And then pull them tight. And then I just keep going back and forth. I'm not even sure about how much twine this is. I just kind of did a bunch till I and kept playing with the there we go. It's starting to form. There, I think that looks good. Okay. And then I'm just going to trim it. And I take another glue dot. And I put it right here. And then I'm going to stick this on here. And of course, I trim, I trim this. Let me get it, I don't like those scissors very well for, get a different pair of scissors. I need a big, better ribbon pair. There we go. And then of course, I'll trim this one as well kind of fiddle with them you know it's one of those things you just like play with but then you get these sequences also with them and there's a lot in here and you get there's little tiny ones in here and there's really um big ones and what I did was I took the sequence glue I like to make sure it's working and not flowing too fast on my silicone mat, and it is. So then I'm going to take, let's bring this card over a little bit, and I'm just going to put like a dot right about here, and one down here, and then I come in here, and I, maybe. And I pick up this and I just kind of take my pokey tool and I put it down. Stampin' Up has one of these tools. It's right here. So that's a bummer. So I had to go back to the old, 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 old timer, I guess I could call it. <sighs> I'm going to put one over here, and I'm not going to put them in the same spot. I feel like I have more room on this one side. I don't know why, but I do. So I'm going to put, I think it stayed there. Put one right there. Now I need like a yellow. And they have bigger ones, which is really cute. And one over here and I will put one up here and aren't these cute this is why in the beginning I said that if you were watching what I picked my colors from was I picked it from this from these that's the from using these sequences is why I picked these colors so but that's the card 
I didn't flop up too bad. And I kept it under a half an hour. That was my goal. I guess I'm a few minutes over. But I did get started a little late. Who knows? Maybe it'll go longer the more time we get to um, chit-chatting with everybody. But please, leave a comment down below. Um, whether you're watching it now or you're watching it on the flip side. And like and hit the little bell so you don't get notified when I do more videos and share my video and I will put your name in for a drawing and you will end up with one of these cards. I will pick two winners and I'll have the winners next Wednesday. So come back here next Wednesday at two o'clock and see what we're going to make then. Thanks for stopping by everybody. Do you have any questions or, or comments? Or comments. Any? Well, thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Got to figure out how to stop it though first, I guess. <laughs> nope not that way oh, maybe I just hit close are you sure okay